Two hands. Yeah, one, one hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> one hand clapping. あの、最初、テレビ会議越しで会ってる時のあの、僕の中の印象はもう日本語のオノマトペっていうコンセプトを使うとなんかね、シャキーンっていう感じだったんですけど、あのね、もうちょっとあの、3年越しであったら、もうちょっ
。そうですね。うん、えっ、ー、とこれ僕が続けちゃっていいんですけど、ねうんうん、僕の中ではプログラムを書かせるのがすごく楽しくて、あのコードを代わりに書いてもらったりとか、でそうするとチャット GPT のレスポンスを見ると。僕らが指でコードを書くよりもはるかに速いスピードでコードがこう書かれていくのを見てるとあこれは非常に子供にプログラムを教えるのはいいだろうなとかあの官僚の人にあプログラム試しに書いてみればっていう時に僕の書いた官僚言葉プログラムでどうやって書くんですかとかチャット GPT に聞いてる様を見てるとこの人間が形式的な自然言語じゃない言語を書くっていうのにインタープリターとして会話が入ってくるっていうのは非常に面白いなと思ってなんかあのなんだろうなあのコーディングのか使い方とか、あとコンピューターの対話方法がちょっと変わった感じがすごいここ数ヶ月しました。Yeah, definitely.、Uh, and I think、uh, the kind of innate moral conditioning <laughs> that the、uh, trainers of ChatGPT gave it,、uh, I think, is a pretty good example、uh, of how this pedagogical relationship、uh, between human and AI, so that the AI can co domesticate、uh, or socialize、uh, with people. So I think to use ChatGPT in such a creative way, as both of us have、um, continued to demonstrate, I think that will、uh, ease. The AI's、um, co domestication with society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 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 子供たち子供たちってことじゃないな大学生たちがあのチャット GPT を使ったハッカソンをやってて1人の子が何か僕と一緒にできるゲームありますかって言ったらテトリスを作ってくれて一緒にテトリスをチャット GPT が出したやつをやったりとかあとは、えー、と Google Chrome の Web API の作り方がわからないからって教えてもらってでそれを Chrome のストアで公開するまでの手順とそのためのコードを出してもらったのでコードが公開できましたって言ってる子がいてあこれは確かに非常に面白いなと思ったのと、まあ、これでも技術革新を一社がやってるというよりはこういう大規模言語モデル、えっと、ラジ、えっと、大規模言語モデルが出てきた時にあの例えばサイエンスも変わるし法律の作り方も違うし教育の仕方も変わるし人間がコミュニケーションするのに言語を使ってきたのは長い歴史を持っているけれど中間生成物として機械と人間の自然言語の中間物が入ってきたというのは非常に面白い道具の変化だなと思うのでなんかこの変化にはもっと着目していきたいかなと思っています。Definitely.、Uh, and since you've seen the、uh, stable diffusion、uh, spike, right,、uh, there's a kind of equivalent、uh, in the ChatGPT realm.、Uh, it's called Bloom as part of the Open Science Project. And I'm sure that with more people contributing to the stable diffusion, like open sourcing of these large language models and its training, we will get more people, more cultures, more diverse、uh, inputs into the kind of norm co creation、uh, across the different societies. And this also a whole The possibility of a transcultural、uh, conversation.、Uh, just this morning,、uh, I was、um, hosting a、uh, open government partnership conversation with international experts. And one observation is that many online、uh, civil society inputs to the government、uh, may sound trollish. Uh, like it's a direct confrontation,、uh, but the intention is sincere.、Uh, it's just, it's not worded in the polite, bureaucratic way.、Uh, but something like a co created large language model、uh, can automatically make it very polite <laughs> while preserving the sincere、uh, intention and therefore bridge the different cultural gaps between the different society groups. <laughs> ようやくができるようになったのが結構大きいと思っていて、えー、サマライズしてでそれが例えば語風を変換する例えば乱暴な口調からそうじゃない口調に変換したりとかで僕が政府の会議に出てる時にあの官僚とこう対話しててでなんか面白くない会議の答弁書が出てきたのでこれをじゃあ代わりに続きを書いてもらいましょうと言ってあのチャット GPT とか他のランゲージモデルに。あの入れてみてあの、まあ、こうもうすでにパブリックになってるやつなんですけど入れてみたら官僚が例えば100ページ書くような文章を作るのに3ヶ月かかるとしてでも出てきた生成文っていうのは大体ねあの1分2分で出てきてしかも官僚が出す文章よりもなかなかいい精度のいいやつが出てきてで今はちょうど多分、まあ、修士課程ぐらいの,あのマスターレベルぐらいの,あの学習が。出てるものが結構多いなと思ってるんですけど、多分向こう2、3年このペースで人が使うと、多分あのある程度 PhD なものが出てきたりとか、もうちょっと新しい発見をするのに
近しいものだったりとか翻訳するのに近しいものが多分生まれてきてでそうするとあの普段例えば教科書を調べたりとかあのウィキペディアを調べたりとかしているような構成とはまた違ったものが生まれてくるので多分そういった時にプログラムを書くのが今まで障壁になってたりとかそういう今まで誰かに教えてもらわないとできなかったことが中間にその対話のためのインターフェースが入ると非常に面白いなと思ってまして。でそういった面ではあのこれがオープンソースで提供されていくこととかに私はすごい意味があると思っていてつまりあの経済安全保障上も例えばあのここのモデルをアメリカが持っているのかそれとも他の国が持っているのかとかじゃあ例えばそれがその国に属しているのか市民に属しているのかでそういったようなオープンなものステーブルリフュージョンの面白かったところはやっぱオープンソースでみんなが動かしているからこういう大規模銀行モデルもオープンソースにいろんなところで使われていくと。面白いなと思うのとでもそういったような最近論文も例えば、えー、とサイエンスのためのラージ、えー、大規模言語モデルっていってはギャ,ラギャラクティカかとかいうのが出たりとかそういうのいろんなところで起こってるから多分向こう数年はこの大規模言語モデルとか拡散モデルディフュージョンモデルみたいなものとそれと組み合わせたさまざまな CG のアプリケーションだったりとか対話型知能だったりとかそういうものが合わさってって非常に豊かなあの情報環境が整うんじゃないかなと思っててすごい期待しています。あの今のちょっとお茶屋さんの,あの言葉がありましたので、それちょっと、小関さんにも事前に聞いてる質問にまさにちょっと重なってるところがありましたので、そこをちょっと聞こうと思うんですが、あの多くの AI モデルがオープンソース化してるってことは確かにそうだなと思っていてあの、プラットフォーマーがどうしてもデジタルの世界っていうのは独占してしまう、ガーファみたいなものなんだといういつも思ってしまったんですが、このオープンソースというのが結構 AI の世界では広がってるっていうのは、新しいそういうビジネスモデルだったり、そういうものを広げる可能性はあるのかな、なんだかなって思ってしまうんですが、大関さんはどのようにことを思ってらっしゃるか、ご意見を。Yeah, indeed.、Uh, and、uh, basically, this is an interoperability question, meaning、uh, that when I get a telephone number from my mobile、uh, phone operator, if I move to another place、uh, and find that the reception is not good、uh, in Taiwan, you can switch to a different telecom provider、uh, while retaining your number. It's called number portability.、Uh, and people take it for granted.、Uh, it's a normal thing, just like、uh, you should be able to wire、uh, from one bank account to the other bank's accounts.、Uh, they are Interoperable.、Uh, but at the moment, even as simple as instant messaging,、mm. uh, it's not interoperable、uh, in this way.、Uh, and by building、uh, those services so that it's locked in to specific modes of exchange within a single platform, it makes it very difficult for new alternatives、uh, to, to appear. Of course, we've seen、uh, some recent good examples.、Mm. For example, the W3C、uh, Activity Pub、uh, g e t a revival、uh, after the Twitter.、Um, you know,、mm. um, Acquisition, right?、Uh, and so、uh, people、uh, took the Fediverse、uh, and actually understood how the Fediverse works for the first time、uh, in many corners of the world.、Uh, but it's not just for Twitter like、uh, activities. We need、uh, for instant message,、uh, for、uh, video conferencing, and so on to preserve the privacy, the end to end encryption, and so on,、uh, where、uh, the interoperability counts so that new alternatives can happen without disrupting the end to end encryption,、uh, the privacy that. We take for granted. しかもそれはプラ,イベプライバシーの問題もそうですしあと権利の問題、まあ、著作権のコピーライトの問題もあるしあとそれを、ね、お互いに加工したりとか触ったりしてコミュニティを作ってその作ったコミュニティの成果物は一体どこに所属していてそれは、えー、と権利の問題なのか安全保障の問題なのか、えー、とそれともそれより大きな枠組みの人権とか、えー、とその人の,人の生まれの中に持っている権利の問題なのかという複数の問題を絡むものがいっぱい出てくることがあの多分向こう数年で死ぬほどいっぱい生まれてくるわけで,でそれってなんかあのやっぱりいろんなことを考えないといけないから楽しいですよね。<笑> Yeah, definitely.、Uh, I think, especially, you mentioned about training those open source models together. Now, in some areas, it's just published code、uh, to begin with,、uh, so there's no copyright problems. On other sides of the spectrum, there's like proprietary code and、uh, more restrictive licenses, which may create a problem you just mentioned. And moving even more along、uh, the spectrum, there's like health data.、Mm. Maybe people who are in the community that、mm. suffer from some sort of special chronic disease would. 
would like to chain the models together. Uh, but at the moment, if they join some larger data aggregation, there's no way to train that model without giving up their privacy and their raw data. Uh, because at the moment, computation and raw data access is very tightly bound together. But in the past couple of years, we've seen many uh, privacy enhancing technologies mm -hmm. that can be accelerated with chips so that you can encrypt the data, send it for someone to compute, mm -hmm. and that someone can help you train the model mm -hmm. without learning anything about the data. Mm -hmm. So these kind of uh, encrypted data computation, I think is also important mm -hmm. because that then the communities retain control uh, in a privacy sense, uh, but still we can share the fruits of the collaborative training. Mm えっと、yeah, very much so. Uh, and nowadays, uh, we've got AI, right, that can help to synthesize uh, very convincing um, simulations of those data, and none of them is re-identifiable back to anyone. Uh, and so with that technology, uh, people can still do all the research they want, but none of these like SimCity citizens uh, are the actual people. And in Taiwan, uh, the Ministry of Interior, along with many other ministries, are already releasing the simulation uh, of the household data and so on of the simulated citizens. And I think that's a trend continuing forward. <laughs> Uh, so I need to shout? I need to speak louder? No, it's okay, it's okay. Or, or just change the microphone so that it's closer to me. Okay. Okay, like this. Okay. これ、あれですかね。ここ、ここ開けるといいと思う。あ、そこをね、人がたくさん立ってるから多分。オッケー。Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's very dense, though. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll use more jargons. <laughs> <笑>はい、じゃあ続けていきます。はい。では、あの、小野さんにあの、事前に聞いた質問で yeah, indeed. Uh, so when we think about AI, many people think about robots, robotics. Uh, for example, uh, decades ago, right, there's already automated vacuum cleaners uh, that can clean your house and people just take it for granted now. Uh, but nowadays, uh, assistive intelligence embodied in robots can do this kind of cleaning uh, for the entire, for example, seashore. Uh, and even into the ocean uh, with 5G and satellite connectivity and so on. So a lot of the debris, um, waste and things like that 
which previously require、uh, years and years for people to clean up the pollution, can be now done、uh, through robots.、Uh, and we don't see that a lot, maybe because it's not like in our daily lives.、Uh, but actually,、uh, for a lot of cleanup work and reconstruction work and so on,、uh, robotics is taking more and more of an important role. Um. Eh, well, the construction work. で特にあの建設業の,あの,のところで働いてる人たちの年齢が大体65歳ぐらいに近づいていて、まあ、これは非常に大変ですと、まあ、ロボットがしないといけませんでそういうプロジェクトを僕会社でやったりとかしてるんですけどやっぱりロボットと反復作業の組み合わせって、ね、非常に相性が良くて、まあ、例えばあの、ね、海岸にあるゴミを拾うとか水,水上にあるものを拾うように例えば、ね、どこからセメントを持ってきてブロックのように置いていくっていうプロセス。でそれは非常にあの得意だったりするしあとはあの一度管理されたデータがあのその取られたデータと作るべきデータの差分をきっちり見ていくっていうのは多分人間が今までやってきた作業よりも非常に得意でかつ、まあ、それをこうあのやっていく作業があの今までよりあのより効率的に例えばそれはあの衛星通信がちゃんと動くようになったりとかあとモバイルデバイスの価格が安くなっていろんなものにくっつけてできるようになったっていうのは非常に大きいと思うしただ僕が一個思うのはあの熱力学的な限界、えー、とロボットがギリギリ動かないラインの問題例えばこんだけ AI が発達したなら今すぐ、えー、と SF に出てくるような最強のロボットを出せっていう人は世の中にそこそこいるわけですけども SF に出てくるような最強のロボットはなかなか出てこないのはアクチュエーターとかパワーエレクトロニクスはそんなにここ10年で一気に伸びたわけではない。まあ、ただ、えーと、AI だったりとかソフトウェアだったりとか API だったりとか人が容易にコードを書いたりとか開発するための環境っていうのは圧倒的に整ってるから頭の方が早く進化していて体の方は非常にまだゆっくりだなと僕は思ってるんですけどそこはどう思いますかYeah, indeed,、uh, sometimes it's referred to、uh, as、uh, augmented、uh, intelligence, right? So, human mind、uh, and collective intelligence are augmented with assistive computer intelligence and become something that's more symbiotic、uh, than anything else, right? And I think this is a very helpful、uh, way of thinking about this AI in the loop situation. AI in the loop, like a human in the loop also. Right, uh, because uh, the, uh, both sides of the loop, the initiator、uh, and the receiver, Uh, are human.、Uh, AI is just in the loop、yeah. of a conversation、uh, between human interaction.、Uh, and this contrasts、uh, with this automation view, right? Where、uh, one party in the conversation is automated away entirely、uh, by AI.、Uh, and then that person just fades into the background, b e c o m e merely a supervisor or trainer, or eventually just withers away, right?、Uh, but that's not what we want because for our mind to expand,、uh, we need collective intelligence、uh, to imagine common futures,、uh, to imagine. Imagine common scenarios and the creative uses like stable diffusion, ChatGPT, and so on、uh, allows us to think beyond、uh, the business as usual.、Uh, so, for them to work in a creative way, to co create possible futures, to free the future、uh, together, but still keeping humans as the main nodes in the network with AI in the loop, I think this is a far more preferable situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. あのこちらさん先ほどオードリーさんはあのそれこそあの転送を止めるようなところのロボットの意味もおっしゃってましたけどそのあたりはさんどうですかまあこ,のこれは半分笑い話で笑い話じゃないのは、えー、と僕の,あ大丈夫か、えー、との,僕のなんか知り合いとこの前話してた時にあの、えー、とその人はちょうどアメリカのコンサルタントなんですけど。あの兵,兵器はどうやっていつグリーンになるんですかって聞いたらそれをすごく真面目に取り組んでいる問題であの戦車を電化するのとかあの装甲車を電化してロケットもあの燃料を使わないようにするには大切なことなのと言われてちょっとこれはすごいこと言うなって僕は思ったんですけれどただあのなんだろう例えば今人間が領地を取り合ってる、まあ、人間って非常に宇宙船に乗せるぐらいだからあの非常にマニピュレーターとして優秀だしあとどんな環境でもよく動くし。あとそこのなんだろう行動の変化によって他の大多数の知能が反応して動くのであの非常になんだろうなえっと端末としてはあの面白い動きをするインダースティングな動きをするこれはサイエンティフィックにはでただあのそれが今人道的な観点とかポリティカルな観点ではあの人はあのロボットの動く端末として考えることはなかなかできないからでそうした時にあのそういった人と
そのロボットが共同で今やってる作業をロボットだけに置き換えていくような風にはきっと僕は変わらないんじゃないかと思うんですよ戦争とか、えー、となんだろうなそういう他者と他者が影響し合うようなものには関してはそうなると思ってるんですけどただその観点で言うとあのなるべくあのなんだろうな、えー、と強いインフラを引いてでそれがイデオロギーじゃなくて市民同士がうまくつながるような場所を作っていくことであのそこのポリティカルではない、えー、とまた違ったコミュニティを形成するとそれは戦いを避けたりとかすることができるんじゃないかなと思ったりはします。まあ、要はシチズンの結びつきが重要ですっていうことですね。うんうんうんうん、いや、definitely、uh,。So、uh,、the idea of plurality、uh, or collaborative diversity、uh, is the main idea of our new ministry, the Ministry of Digital Affairs.、Uh, and there's a word play because in kanji, in Mandarin here in Taiwan,、uh, shu wei、uh, means both digital and plural. Uh, it's the same word.、Uh, so, to have a digital ministry is to have a ministry that promotes plurality.、Mm-hmm. And one core part of plurality is that the diversity is there. Not just because、uh, we need token representations, but because the various different perspectives m a k e s a better, more holistic,、uh, co created future、uh, together. So, this shared perspective that is something that AI can assist、mm-hmm. because AI can, as you said, summarize, synthesize,、yeah. uh, make real,、uh, translate into immersive experiences、yes. the kind of perspectives those different, the diverse、uh, people offer.、Mm-hmm. And once people enter each other's shoes, so to speak,、uh, with a system intelligence. Mediating, they make it much easier. It's not just、uh, about polite style of referencing each other or language translation, but rather about actually empathizing、uh, with each other. And that is, I think, very exciting. Yeah.、Uh, to reduce, uh, yeah. Uh, like, あのちょっと間を置いた方がきっとお互いにとって建設的だよって言ってくれたりとか,なんかそういったような人間が感情的になる時間って多分数秒って決まってたりするからその数秒の間になんか他の解決策を出してくれたりして意外と人と人のコミュニケーションはより仲良くなると思うんですよねあのなんかハーモナイズされるっていうのかな。Okay,、uh, for that entire paragraph, I don't have translation. Uh, we just say the.、Uh, just no, it's say okay, the, they're、yeah. translating now. Good. Ah, translating now, okay. So, like, ah, then, um, one more time, ケミカルリアクションのタイムレスポンスとあつまり、えー、と科学的反応の時間反応とあの電気的反応の時間反応とあとそれを自由にコントロールできるあのインテリジェントなコーディングでコントロールできる反応の自定反応だとあのこう3段階並んだ時に一番最後のレイヤーってより自由度が高いから。あのケミカルやあのなんだろう他の電気的な反応に合わせてつまり人間の局所的な反応に合わせて吸収してくれるダンパーとしては非常に優秀だと私は思っててそれは、えー、と人間社会全体の反応もそうだし、えー、と一人の個人の中で反応する例えば感情だったりとか体の動きみたいな反応もそうだしなんかそれをこう吸収したりとか動かしたりとかしてよりハーモナイズさせやすくするより調和させやすくするための,あの素材としては。あのインフラストラクチャーがめっちゃ整ってきたと思いますね。ここ,こ,こ5年、うん、そして去年はすごくそれがあのマシントランスレーションあつまり機械翻訳で全く違和感なく喋れるようにしかもそれがリアルタイムになってきてでそれっていうのが人種や言語のダイバーシティも上げるし、まあ、聴覚や視覚やつまり体の、えー、機能のダイバーシティも上げることができるしあとそれが本当は、えー、ともっとポリティカルな。えっと、制度や権利のダイバーシティをよりもうちょっと速いスピードで変えることにしかつながったらいいなと個人的には思っていますつまり人間が多様になっていくのに対して制度を多様にするための速度が十分に遅いそれは僕はまだ民主主義のなんだろうな発掘可能なところだと思って
、民主主義ってあの速度をなるべく低下させるようにできている制度ではあると思っているのでそこの速度をなるべく早く届けて受け取って届けて受け取ってなるべく早くすることができればあのそれはあのもうちょっと早く制度が変わると思うのでそうする方がいいものは世の中にいっぱいたくさんあるんだけどなんかそ,れがそれもなんか低速になってしまうのはもったいない。つまりあの誰か独裁者が暴走したりとか、えー、と突然戦争が起こったりとか誰かやばい法律ができたりとかするのを防ぐために、えー、民主主義は十分にそれをゆっくりの速度にするのには機能を果たしているけれどただ今変えていくべき人はどんどん多様になっていくのにその多様になったものに制度を追いつかせるための制度変更の速度が十分に低速なのはあのなんかいろいろ制度を違った。入れ方を、AI がさっきおっしゃってたようにあの意見をまとめたりあの違う対話可能な形にしこれ、えー、集合値を作ったりとかするようなものが入ってくると、まあ、議会っていうものが例えば19世紀末から20世紀頭に全世界的に普及していったようなものと同じように違った意味を持つんじゃないかなと個人的には思います。Yeah, definitely.、Uh, so, for the past five years,、uh, we've been running presidential hackathon where people who can code or design、uh, look at a societal problem, code to get a prototype, and the top five teams get a presidential guarantee、uh, to make it into policy.、Uh, however, we've seen that for many people, coding or designing and so on is a high threshold.、Uh, and the theme of today's conversation seems to be this low code, no code、uh, trend、uh, where people who have an imagination can just describe it as a sketch. Uh, or a poem、uh, or anything,、uh, and then through assistive intelligence is translated into something that can conceivably we build a prototype around. And so、uh, for this year,、uh, we started to experiment with what we call Ideason,、uh, where the entry doesn't need to carry any line of code,、uh, but rather just a prototype of what the future may look like、uh, in 2040.、Uh, and we've got many very interesting、uh, ideas, stories, and so on.、Uh, one talks about、uh, embedded chip. Uh, so that one can、um, enter sleep、uh, more easily.、Uh, and it's a very interesting、uh, kind of moral question of who actually、uh, controls the sleeping uh, rhythm uh, of things. And another、uh, deals with a、uh, kind of personal、um, souvenir museum of、uh, what people have created as、uh, noteworthy、uh, during their lives,、uh, so that it's kind of continuously preparing for one's own funeral <laughs> and so on.、Uh, and so it changes、uh, the way people think about legacy and so on. So,、uh, but these are just、uh, kind of inklings of thought. And then we will work with、uh, experienced designers and、um, like immersive、um, choreographers and so on to make sure that when we are researching assistive intelligence in the future, we can take those storyboards. Uh, and then enter as if that future has already happened on a smaller scale. And I think、uh, the key to、um, making the bandwidth of democracy wider is to allow for many concurrent experimentations.、Uh, the previous system was slow. Because it needs to converge on something everybody is、yeah. adhering to.、Uh, but if we have small、uh, iterations that can be you know, just seven days or 14 days、uh, iteration, but works on a smaller scale,、uh, which can coexist、uh, peacefully,、mm-hmm. then that kind of plurality vision will make it possible for democracy to parallelize itself. もう AI のところほとんど面白い話だとても聞けたなと思うんですが、最後にもう一個だけあの、うん、とてもお二人のような理解が高い人たちの話、僕もちょっとだけ分かるんだなと面白く聞いたんですが、すごく,すごく,すごく分からない人たちのためにちょっと聞きたいんですけれども、あの先ほどあの新幹線の VTR を見ていただきましたけれども、まさに技術の進歩みたいなことに対して、それが人が奪われてしまう、人がやることが奪われてしまうんじゃないかという人がどうしてもいます。そういういいテクノフォビアみたいな人たな人ちに対してあの投機会心が性の高いからお二人のような人たちとの間に分断が広がってしまうんじゃないかっていうこともちょっと心配するんですけどもああそ,その辺りをどういう言葉をかけていくとそこをうまくつなげるなっていうところを思ってらっしゃるのかちょっとお伺いしたいと思うんですあこれちょっと僕からも聞いてみたいところがあってあえっ、ー、とね分断、えー、そうなんですよ、えー、と僕は、えー、とプログラマーなので、えー、とプログラムを書くけど、まあ、M, M を書くし音楽も作るんですけどコンピューターを使ってであのオードリーさんはどうだったかわかんないんだけれどえー、と僕は、えー、と80何年生まれで,で小学校入ったぐらいで、えー、と大体みんながインターネットエクスプローラーを使い始めてで、えー、と右クリックすればソースコードが見えてでソースコードの中からパールのコードを見たりとかあの HTML 見て自分でコピーしてでバックグラウンドイメージ変えたりとか音楽鳴らしてみたりとか、えー、と CGI 自分で作ったりとかしてコードを覚えてったわけで多分同じようだと思うんだけどでもあれの良かったところは、えー、とコードは全部見えてたから。
あの、えー、とあるコードを真似したりとかどこをくっつけたらどう動いたりっていうところがインターネットコーディングがめちゃくちゃ最初は楽で。で今 AI によるコーディングの面白いところは例えば、えっと、ソースを表示してこのコードと同じようなコードを書きたいんだけどどうしたらいいって AI に聞くと大体教えてくれたりとかするじゃないですかでそこまでたどり着けば自分で練習しながらかなり上手くなっていけると思うんだけれどそこまでたどり着かないと,、えっと、なんだろう例えば小学校に通って中学校に通って国語算数理科を習って。でプログラムの授業もある,あるし習ってたりはするけれどただ、えっと、そんなに自分でひたすら練習できて楽しくやっていけるようになった子はいいけどそうじゃない子はそうじゃないかもしれないでそこっていうのはおそらく何らかの格差は多分生まれてしまう子供ですら大人は十分に低速なので新しく入ってくるものが随分にゆっくりなのでそのゆっくりだとあそこによっぽど興味がない限りはその今広がりつつある非常に楽しくてエキサイティングなあのこの分野をあ,のあまり面白くないと思って作業が進んでしまうかもしれないんだけどここの僕は興味の格差というのかな、えー、と興味があるかないかに非常に差,差が格差が生まれつつあって知れば非常に楽しいんだけどそういう状態まで持っていけないところをどうやったらこ,うあのこの格差の問題それこの興味の格差はきっと収入も、えー、と多分社会的な、えーとまあ、僕は友達の多さだと思うんですけど一緒に動いてくれる。えー、と多くの友達の数も少なくなってしまうでここの差をどうやって埋めていくかってことがちょっと聞いてみたいなと思いました Right, so that's a natural extension to your question yes, yes. So, <laughs> Okay、um, Yeah, I think、uh, in Taiwan what we have seen、uh, is that consistently、uh, there are around 10% of people who even though they have 5G、um, connection、uh, because we have broadband as a human right or the device and so on, but they prefer paper, prefer over the counter interactions. And you will think it relates with age, but actually、uh, the percentage is quite stable now.、Mm-hmm. So、um, regardless of age,、uh, there are a certain percent of people、uh, who strongly prefer、uh, physical interactions. Uh, now, there's a, a, now there are around 70% of people、uh, who are kind of bilingual、uh, that they can use、uh, mobile payment, contact tracing digitally, especially during the pandemic, it's no big deal.、Uh, but then, on the other hand, if the experience is not good,、uh, then they switch back <laughs> to face to face interactions.、Uh, and that is also quite、uh, constant. And I think it is quite natural to have this ladder of preferences. Uh, from the analog、uh, to that of digital,、mm-hmm. as long as people know the person、uh, a little bit above、mm-hmm. uh, in their interest and a little bit below, then the society has this network of、uh, community of practice、uh, that can help people、uh, and help each other.、Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, I run all my digital designs、mm-hmm. uh, past my grandmother,、uh, my father's mother, who is、uh, 90 years old now.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, she, of course, knows how to use an iPad and video conference with me all the time, but not. Much else. Uh, and uh, she、uh, always tells me that if you empower、uh, the local staff at a convenience store, the local staff at a pharmacy,、oh. the local clinic,、uh, the local neighborhood、um, manager, and so on,、uh, then because、uh, she trusts these people. Uh, so, anything、uh, that she needs to learn, programming or things like that, she trusts these people、uh, to learn that for her and explain how it works to her. And so we invest a lot into empowering、um, the people closest、uh, to the 10% without asking the 10% to adapt their ways. And、uh, interestingly, we found that it raises their interest、uh, to use, for example, telemedicine more.、Uh, if you have to learn to talk with a doctor、uh, over the air, even with the best VR equipment, that is still quite anxious. For most people. But if we empower、uh, a local nurse or a local clinician,、uh, and then you just go to their place、uh, and they make the connection、uh, with a professional doctor with you,、uh, and then people、uh, find it much easier、uh, to learn. So the point I'm making、uh, is that I think mostly this is a modality of habit, but a habit is not about individual, it's about a community. It's quite natural that a community、um, is coherent in the sense that there are some people who specialize in this but are. Willing to teach,、uh, and some people who are specializing in that but are willing to teach.、Uh, but if we atomize each individual, if we design our interactions so that it cannot、uh, facilitate those helper relationships, then the kind of gap that you described、uh, will become a real problem. So if we design our digital services、uh, to harmlessly coexist、uh, 
with the existing social relationships to design for the community with the community, uh, then that problem, I think, eventually cures itself because that is the same with literacy, uh, with learn learning the uh, technology of writing. Uh, it's the same with uh, the idea of scientific method uh, and so on, uh, rule of law and so on. So in all these previous cases, we rely on the local communities of practice to uh, support each other. なるほどね。今の読み書きの話を聞いて、まあ、昔、マコイザーっていう人が指きたすコンピューティングだろうと書いたときに、あ、じゃあ、コンピューター 420th もちろん世の中にたくさん存在するわけではないから、あの、そういった 10% で、例えばえっと、印象派の画家が出てくるのは写真技術が出てきた。30年後とか40年後ぐらいで。つまりテクノロジーの進化が緩やかだと、あの、写真がある前提で絵を描く人たちは5本みたいな絵描いたりするか
、技術的な進化が、道具としての進化が上がってくると、経験的知能によって蓄積された知識が、あのいわゆるあの文脈的な例えばリファレンスをいっぱい知っているとか論文を査読をたくさんしてこういっぱい読んでるというより経験的知能に基づく新しいものを作る能力の方があの人間的だって言っててそれが非常に僕の中では確かになって思ったことがあったんですけどその経験的知能ってやはりあのコミュニティがどう巻き込むかの問題と。あとは自分がなんか主体的に自分の能力の拡張として横にあるものが自分の一部だと思えるかどうかだと思うんですけれどその自分の外に外部化しているものが自分の一部の機能だと思うためにあの中練しないといけないものって何ですかね子供とか大学生とかが。Yeah, very much so. And it speaks volume that、uh, we were able to、uh, just converge on that so quickly because we both come from coaches that values communities.、Uh, we don't have to you know, debate individualism and so on, right?、Uh, and, and I think this is quite a advantage、uh, for both Japan and Taiwan and nearby communities because we understand that as we modernize,、uh, the more we keep from our community of shared experiences, actually, the stronger the relational muscles are、uh, in our existing communities. まあ、物理的なものは2人で共有すると半分になるけどデータは2人で半分使うとね2倍便利になる。なるほど。確かに。はい。Exactly. じゃあこのパート終わりにします。ありがとうございました。一回休憩しましょう。はい。お願いします。はい。Okay. デジタルっていうとそのテクノロジーの方ばっかり発展の方ばかり言ってしまうんですけど一つねもう一つには社会保障の大きな可能性を秘めてるっていうのとああデジタルのそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ Can you read the kanji? Yes, of course. <laughs> All of this makes perfect sense in Mandarin、yeah, yeah, as well. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. 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 はい、それから DX の話に言及されて、困っている人に対して公平、迅速かつ効率的な支援を届けることがデジタルのまでやっていくことが必要になりますかということを質問されましたああ、はいあの。これは僕らの理解が、あの僕の理解が低いだけなんですけど、デジタルってすごくのテクノロジーのすごいハイ,カなんハイテクノロジーだというところばっかりを持ってしまいます。この社会保障にもとか、そういうことにもデジタルのテクノロジーが使えるというふうにお茶さん言ってるんですが、その,ことについてはその中で一番重要なのは、プッシュ型による通知、というか、給付ということは、うん、あの今までの,あの人的リソースデジタル社会保障あじゃあ社会保障が難しくてあのデジタル社会保障の利点はあのやっぱりあの限界費用が低く人的リソースに依存しないというところなのであの依存度が低いというところなのであのそうすると例えば全員にプッシュ型で、ね、つまり何かを届けるというものはあの物理的な移動を伴わないもの例えばそれが預金のお金なのか例えばそれが何らかの権利なのか何らかのチケットのデジタル化なのかそういったものを渡すところも僕はデジタル社会保障の非常に面白いところだと面白いというか一番重要なところだと思ってるんですけどこの辺からお話を始めようかなと思うんですがどうでしょうか Yeah, definitely.、Uh, in Taiwan,、uh, we've issued、uh, from masks to vaccines to stimulus vouchers to cash payments and so on,、uh, all through digital uh, provision. Uh, and we think extra carefully、uh, to people who are under 12 and people who are above, say, 70 years old,、uh, because previously、uh, they would not、uh, use digital that easily、uh, to obtain such kind of payouts. But fortunately,、uh, we do have the National Health Insurance Card, which covers all the citizens. 
students and also residents. So what happens, for example, during our stimulus voucher uh, is that they can hand their universal health card to a trusted family member to just go to a nearby convenience store and that says, okay, with my health card and their health card up to five uh, in a batch, uh, we'll just group uh, all the payments together uh, to my account. Uh, and so with this very intuitive uh, symbol of trust, if you hand somebody your health card, it means that you treat them as a intimate helper. Um, we solve the um, payout problem uh, that previously would require a lot of paperwork, as you just mentioned. なんかその、他人と自分との間に中間地点がおそらくアジアにはあると思ってるんですけど、まあそれはつまりえっとヨーロッパ型社会保障の状況と違うじゃないですか。あ、これはどういう意味かというとヨーロッパ型社会保障と
Well, is it really not the case? <laughs> uh, because uh, when we talk about uh, data use, yeah. there are ways uh, in the emerging uh, standards like zero knowledge sharing and so on, uh, where it's only you uh, and your phone, like your wallet, uh, contains the full data. Uh, and then you can prove, for example, you're over 18 years old without disclosing how old you really are. Uh, but with the current paper-based identification, it's not possible. If you hand out your driver's license, uh, you not only prove you're over 18 years old, you also prove a lot more things, uh, which you might not be comfortable uh, having a random uh, staff over the counter uh, learn about you. So this selective uh, disclosure uh, that is based on the newer zero knowledge ideas that you learn only that and nothing else. I think that is useful because then people will compare that with the privacy situation of paper cards uh, and see that the digital is actually more privacy preserving. But if the digital, uh, if you just give out this number, uh, and then just like a driver's license, you give out everything at oh. once, then it actually transmits faster, oh, right? So, so it's, it's more threatening to the privacy because if you take a photo of the paper card, at least I can see you taking a photo. Uh, but if you just read it uh, from NFC or Bluetooth, uh, I don't even know, right? So uh, which is why uh, in Taiwan, for example, during our contact tracing design, uh, we made it abundantly clear that you're not sending sending any private information. And it's not sent to the state, just to your telecom. And the telecom doesn't know from the random number where you have been. And once people learn that the digital is more privacy preserving than the analog, then people can choose voluntarily to do digital transformation, but not before that. Mm え、選べる戸籍とかっていうのはどうですかね。ありがとうございます。で、もう ディジタルデバイスを渡すことができる。ああ、なるほど。で、これは一つなんてすごく現実的に貧困率というのは日本では、あの、先進国のはずなんですが、全然下がらないんですね。ずっと高いもので、特に1人ぐらいが貧困になっているとか。あと、最後の実はそういう問題があるって言ってもディサプリクがずっとあのコロ
that connects people together, that shapes the community, uh, like the AI-mediated understanding uh, we just talked about, that is now public infrastructure uh, and is worth uh, the same budget categorization as a bridge that connects physical islands uh, together. Uh, and so we need to think more about those digital bridges that connects the previously disconnected islands, even though it's not made out of concrete, but made of bits, but it's every bit as important. なるほど。あの、あの、あの、なんかね、抜本的に差し替えるのがどんどん難しくなっていくので、あの、それはなるべく早くやらないといけない。<笑> 全然生きてるんですよ。わかりますかあの、エルダリーピーポーはそのまま長生きし続けます。で、みんな社会の一員です。で、どっちに揃えるかって言ったら、テクノロジーに親和しない側に揃えてこそなるとずっと。で、そし
Uh, but uh, we face a real issue during the pandemic times that people who want to register for vaccines uh, to receive them in a particular clinic may not have visited that clinic before uh, at all, uh, right? And they uh, maybe their household registration is at one city, but they actually live in another city, and we discourage like this kind of mobility during the pandemic times and so on. Exactly, exactly. So what we've done uh, instead is to make a nationwide system uh, that adapts to the requirements, to the his uh, health information systems, to the clinics, and so on. And even for the personal computer-based uh, system that doesn't have any internet connectivity, uh, we made a common uh, visualization, a common portal, uh, so that they can download those spreadsheets uh, for their local use. So essentially, we wrote a lot of adapters so that one single unified pre-registration system can work with the various uh, islands of information systems. And um, I, I'll be very frank and say, uh, maybe that's the only system uh, within the health and welfare system that has received this treatment because of the national urgency of getting everybody vaccinated uh, in long-term health care, in many other social security uh, fields. Still, uh, at this moment, there are those various different islands that are not currently connected together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. いや、それは全く同じ問題が日本でもよく起こってる、起こってるというか起こってるんですけど、<笑>あそでも多分、電子カルテシステムと、その、えっ、ー、とね保、保険証の番号とマイナンバーが紐づくっていうのは、ちょうど来年、今年は今年から日本でも始まって、多分大工事がきっと始まるんですけど、だから大工事を成し遂げる上の心構えを一個だけ教えてください。<笑>うん、そう、when the national health system here in Taiwan、uh, was being designed,、uh, there is that kind of panel,、uh, but truly from multiple stakeholders.、Uh, still to this day, everything related to the single payment universal health care、uh, passes through this multi stakeholder forum comprised of representatives of all sorts of different stakeholders within the universal health care.、Uh, I think it's important because、uh, otherwise, it would just be people who are versed with technology. Making the decisions for everyone.、Mm. But maybe people, for example,、uh, don't want the health card to do anything involving payment. Right? So that is a norm, a social norm.、Uh, but if it's the technologist、uh, doing the coding, certainly linking a unified payment system is the, the simplest thing to do. If you ask ChatGPT, they can write that API very easily.、Uh, but when people do that, then the privacy、uh, expectation changes.、Mm. Because if I want to buy something, I can hand my、um, payment card、uh, or a, even my credit card、uh, for you to pay for that dinner, and that's fine. But if it's linked to my health data, then I'll have to think twice.、Uh, and so, this kind of norm setting、uh, with a true multi stakeholder forum, that is the most important to ensure a proper data governance going forward. So, whatever norm was there in the text world can preserve itself in the data realm. Yeah, sometimes we talk about MISMIs, micro. Uh, and small and medium enterprises.、Uh, and we, we say micro,、uh, we mean that they accept cash only payments.、Uh, they may not even register a company.、Uh, maybe they just、uh, have a very, very simple on the street as a street vendor and so on. Now, these people、uh, currently、uh, they are the ones that are impacted the most、uh, by the pandemic measures. 
uh, for people change their shopping habits. Maybe they go to the takeouts uh, online. Maybe they order food delivery and so on. Uh, but because they were not digitally transformed, they're not part of that uh, takeout or a food delivery uh, scene. Uh, and so they see uh, their business dwindle uh, during the pandemic times. Now, previously, it's not that we don't have uh, the incentives and support programs. It's just that it's distributed across various different ministries uh, in the government. So during the pandemic, just like with the health and welfare, we united everyone's vaccination registration together uh, in the SME pass and the T-Cloud uh, public infrastructure. We ensured that all the different uh, incentives, reimbursements, and so on uh, can unify in one place. And instead of uh, using the health card, which doesn't want anything to do with payment, right? Uh, they can just use their uh, phone SIM card. So if their company or their uh, business uh, owner is themselves and they have a phone that is registered to their own name, they just use this phone uh, to connect to the website and complete the authentication um, automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, and so by verifying they are actually the owner of the business, uh, they can then just turn their phone into a credit card payment receiver uh, or a customer success uh, management tool or things like that. So they don't have to install any machine and they understand that, oh, Everything is here uh, with the same experience as they're using the phone. As you said, uh, if, especially if they're senior citizens, using a phone is something that they're familiar with. And at any given point, if they run into troubles uh, getting these new uh, cloud distributions, so they just uh, pick up the phone and call this toll-free not line. So the point here is to ensure that the digital transformation feels very, very easy. And they don't have to invest in any hardware and so on. And the state uh, subsidizes 80% uh, of whatever cloud subscription they do. Uh, and they can switch uh, like from Google Workspace today uh, and then next day into some other uh, solution. Uh, and then they only pay uh, for that actual rate and we still subsidize 80% of that. Now that we're post-pandemic, we subsidize for just 50%, but we still get a lot of interest, especially uh, for the micro enterprises. ちなみに開発コストはどのくらい予算を公開されてるかのことちょっとわかんないんですけど、ただあのどのくらいの例えばいや僕は何を言いたいかっていうと一般的に中小企業支援ってあの中小企業にこのくらいの予算枠で出せ
Yes, exactly. Uh, and, and we are also making sure uh, that the success stories of those both information providers and digital transformation <coughs> success cases are well documented. Uh, so we make videos, and now you're going to help us make videos, <laughs> and they become champions uh, in their trade. Uh, and so once people who can see that even the uh, most analog of street vendors can digitally transform themselves, uh, it makes people feel ready for digital transformation. And now starting this year, we're also now moving to even the nonprofits, uh, the co-ops, uh, the social entrepreneurs and so on, which are already uh, present in the ambassador program from the undergrads, uh, but not uh, in scale uh, in the T-Cloud. Uh, but uh, to me, I think the co-ops, the not-for-profits and so on is equally important when it comes to digital transformation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. もう、なんか、で、最初聞いた時にもうちょっとインフラストラクチャーとして例えばあの、なんか、コビット構築するためのシステムっていうのはあくまでベンダーっていうのはそれはセーフから発注を受けて作ってそこは政府からするとえっとそこのものを買うって形に多分なっちゃうんだけどそうじゃなくてそこの構築されてるシステムそれ自体は
upcoming, at that time, Ministry of Digital Affairs. Uh, what would you do if all our submarine cables are cut by earthquakes? Uh, that kind of questions didn't get asked as much before the uh, Ukrainian uh, situation. Yeah. それがあの国の Exactly. Uh, and the other thing we learned uh, is that we need to work with many satellite vendors, right? Uh, in addition, uh, of course, to start our own um, cluster, we also need to work with like all the existing vendors. Uh, because uh, when we mount, uh, for example, a portable uh, mobile tower on a fire service truck, it can actually have uh, satellite dishes that connects to not just the low Earth orbit, but also the mid Earth orbit and many different uh, constellations. Uh, and when it does that, uh, it makes the invasion much harder to carry out because it's very difficult to take out all those different uh, constellations belonging to various different jurisdictions at the same time. And so uh, plurality become not just a societal democratic resilience thing, but also a communication safety thing. Uh, and it's after that we started working with all the public cloud providers uh, like Microsoft Azure and Amazon and Google and to ask them uh, whether your local zone will keep functioning if all our submarine cables are cut uh, and so on. And, and so again, by working with all the three simultaneously, in addition with our domestic vendors, it's very difficult for attacker to take down all the three public clouds simultaneously. Uh, and so plurality, it becomes a strength in the resilience in response. あの、あの、ちょっと Certainly. Uh, the DFI, uh, which we signed uh, with other more than 60 uh, partners now, uh, basically says that we need to free the future of the Internet. So people in this generation should not dictate uh, what should happen or what should not happen for the next generations uh, on the internet uh, in the name of, I don't know, harmony or something um, for the current generation. And indeed, uh, what we have seen is that uh, across different countries, people who believe in common shared values figure out uh, their shared data sharing uh, partnerships, uh, how to do privacy preserving uh, data sharing and training AI models together and so on. Uh, it, this is just like uh, a family is not by uh, the registered household, <laughs> but by shared uh, mutual trust. Uh, again, uh, our partners is not uh, close, uh, proximate by geopolitical distance, but rather by the closeness in distance uh, when measuring the shared values. Uh, and when we build such shared value coalitions, it matters less uh, whether we're called a jurisdiction or a country or a province or things like that, but rather we just represent uh, the .tw uh, internet domain. Uh, and we are, of course, a full domain uh, name here. Uh, and so this uh, elevates the geopolitical thinking into something that is a shared value alliance. And throughout the DFI, I think my own experience is that many people realize uh, for the first time uh, that a senior leadership uh, in Taiwan and also Japan, who is a part 
partner in the DFI um, actually share the same uh, privacy concerns, rule of law concerns, uh, and things like that. Uh, because uh, people used to have this kind of stereotypical East Asian um, value set, <laughs> right? But uh, because we face the same uh, rapid change of technology and so on, we actually share exactly the same concerns as our European counterparts and other parts uh, in the world. And I think having a platform to have such declarations and converse so that we can build the internet so that it becomes a shared value of resilience, a uh, resource of resilience for all of us, that's very important. I'll use one concrete example. Um, so um, right before uh, the MODA started in end of August last year, uh, we suffered a very large large denial of service attack uh, to our foreign service website, to our president's office website, to the um, Ministry of National Defense website. Uh, at the peak is 23 times more than the previous peak, so like huge. And all the DDoS attackers want to do is just to disrupt it for a couple of hours where uh, their uh, disinformation and harmful uh, information spread. And when the journalists want to check <coughs> the source, <coughs> Well, the source is not there, right? Because the website is kept busy. And then they spread the um, um, disinformation that says, oh, they have taken over the national defense force and so on. Of course, it's not true, right? Dialing to keep a line busy is not the same as taking over the call center, very different things. But again, the website is not there. Uh, and so we cannot debunk uh, in time. Uh, so we launched our website uh, early. Uh, actually, actually, the same hour as the so-called military drill started. Uh, and we say, oh, we've never been taken down by even one second. Uh, and that's because we work with not just the content distribution networks of Web2, but also with Web3. So anyone around the world can donate a little bit of spare hard disk a little bit of spare bandwidth on the interplanetary file system, the IPFS, to help us uh, to broadcast our messages so that uh, nobody can keep our line busy because it's already replicated. And we say uh, it's in the public domain, no rights uh, reserved. So we will not sue you when you donate your hard drive to host a mirror copy of ours. And it works really well. And then that uh, knowledge is disseminated uh, to all the different ministries. So now they are also switching uh, to the same content distribution uh, strategy. But I think this shows uh, the kind of the help that we receive, not just from uh, the jurisdictions uh, with shared values who voluntarily, like protocol labs and so on, wanted to help us, but also in authoritarian regimes. There are also civil society, also journalists who want to use those Web3 tools for doing their work uh, free from tampering, free from censorship, and so on. So they are also very interested in our public infrastructure investment uh, to those Web3 infrastructures. Mm -hmm. So it become a network of democracy, mm -hmm. not necessarily all in the democratic states, yeah. but for people who practice democracy even within authoritarian regimes. Mm -hmm. uh. あの、どこの国でもあると思いますか。あと、国立国会図書館とか日本で言うと国会図書館だまあパブリックドライブラリーだったり。なんかデータのオープン化っていうのはなんかそのポリティカルの条件と実はちょっとずれてるっていうか。
uh, your identities around different service providers. Uh, and we talk already about zero knowledge, uh, verifiable credentials. We talk about homomorphic encryption, federated learning, differential privacy, and so on. So all these are societal commons because it enables the internet to uh, work the kind of social contract that we all want from each other instead of forcing us into the boxes uh, that are either overly uh, disclosing or overly opaque.あの、そういうコモンズ的なものがまさにま、イタリア、セリトしてるじゃないですか。<笑> そのあたりの このフェーズ <laughs> yeah, what, what you each just described uh, is known as uh, asymmetric defense. Uh, very easy to defend, uh, but for the attacker, the collateral damage will be so large uh, that the cost of attack is insurmountable. Uh, the same way that we use the IPFS and Web3 technologies uh, in distributing our website contents, if you manage to take that down, then you also take down, you know, all the board ape yacht club NFT profile pictures and so on. And the collateral damage is huge, which means that there is a, a strong incentive for people for uh, this joint defense, uh, not to our website in particular, but to this commons uh, in, in common, right? So what we're doing now is just to find, to identify those commons that has this asymmetric defense capabilities and tie ourselves to those backbones, uh, but to choose as many backbones as possible that coexist so we can switch between those different backbones easily. And to do that, of course, we need an agile way uh, to develop our digital services, to take advantage of those community offers, uh, the new protocols of the internet. So we just uh, joined as a ministry, uh, the World Web Consortium, the W3C, uh, the FIDO Alliance, and so on, because these are the consortium, the places where this kind of uh, zero trust architecture, zero knowledge sharing, and so on, are being created. まあ、インフラとコモンズの非対称性をうまく使うことによって、あの、防衛側に有利なシステムを作るっていうのは、ブロックチェーンの発想もその、そのものなので、非常にそう思います。うん。
話してそのテクノロジーがもたらす平和があるかもしれない。うんいやいや、平和だよ、今。だって、ブロックチェーン銀行強盗、世の中にそんなに存在しないでしょ。そうですね。オレットの ID を奪うために、拳銃突きつけられてる人の数っていうのは、現金を奪われる人の数に比べて、はるかに少ないと思いますよ。デジタルデータがもたらした安全とか、平和かもしれません。昔は現金をなんか街中でひったくったりして盗むことができたらしいよって言われる時代が来るんだよ、確実に。<笑>ありがとうございます。で、ちょっとあの、2022年の一時代はどうしよう、どうでしょうって話を聞こうと思ったんですが、まあ、こうせっかく広がってきたんなので、2023年がどんな年になってほしいかっていうのを、一時かそうなのかって逆に聞いてみました。そうしていただこうかちょっと変わった質問なんですけど、こんな年になってほしいなっていうのを、もし書いてたらいいかなっていうのを。This is stylish time, man.、Right? <laughs> One emoji, also okay. <laughs> One Unicode code point. <laughs> お互いに見せましょうか。お願いします。どうぞ。あ、ああ、僕宇宙の宙。じゃあまず小鳥さんどうしてこの個室だ。Uh, this is zero,、uh, but stylized with a slash. Uh, and uh, uh, it represents the kind of conversation we just had about the zero knowledge,、uh, privacy preserving、uh, sharing. It's about the zero trust、uh, network architecture. So, this is about、uh, having no compromise. Uh, between the societal values like privacy、uh, that we want to uphold、uh, and the societal benefits、uh, like the co created AIs、uh, that we just talked about. So, zero is、um, again this year's w e a t h e r but with a slash、uh, to indicate its cybersecurity、uh, importance as well. うわ空間中は時間を意味するんですが、なんかじコンピューターの中の時間が早いんですよ、最近。なんで、5年前はもうちょっとゆっくりで、今はすごく早くて、もっともっと早くなると、なんかね、空間に対して何かをしている我々のアプローチは、やがて時間に対するアプローチに変わっていくはずなんですが、えっと、その兆しを最近めちゃくちゃ感じるので、あの時間がね、あの、なんだろう、えっと、時間の方の、力を使いたいなと思います。うん、ほらミサイルを飛ばすってのは空間的な話なので、だから時間的なアプローチでそこに向かい合うことがね、もっとしたいなと思っているので、時間を選びました。ミサイルに立ち向かうとすると時間的な力って何ですか？え、全員がそれあ、なんでミサイルが飛んでるものをみんなで見ると、ミサイルが飛んでったっていう時間を共有するのでしか、なんでミサイル撃ったんだよってなる。空間を超えてきたミサイルは空間の攻撃だったんだけどあの全員がそのミサイルが飛んで落ちて悲しかったという時間を共有すると実は空間的な問題を時間的な心の動かす力に変えられるのでそういったものをするのはいいんじゃないですかね、うんうんうん、今日もまさに
空間をこいつ時間を共有しますもんね。あはい、我々の空間の時間どっちも共有してるから<笑>大丈夫。<笑>大丈夫。ありがとうございます。ちょっと大森さんその文字もう一回見せていただいていいですか。カメラで撮ってください。あえー、とよりになっているので、あとで、ね、よりデータをもらいますので、今のこの感じで手元が欲しいです。Unbox it. It's a jumpstart booster. Yeah. Shuffle to and play. So we're, we're supposed to play it. I think so. We're supposed to play magic on the spot? Okay. Okay. The magic cards. Exactly. Yeah, so I know only the hard words like abeyance or dissipate uh, and so on,、uh, and not the easy words. Because they never use the easy words for later expansions, they've all been used、uh, by the first few years. Uh -huh. Okay. Like this? Okay. Okay. So, what would, do we do? So, do we want to clear this out since you're filming this?、Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I'll take a m o l i c a n Okay. Hmm, I can go. Okay, I'm good. Yes, Jeremiah. Okay. So, do we do rock, paper, scissors or something? Okay. <laughs> We're good. Okay.、Uh, okay, so I'll play.、Um, Is a Maru Horn、yeah. of Konda. It's a 2 2 vanilla. 2 2 vanilla? Ah, 2 2 vanilla. Okay. okay.、Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes.、Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, a check for two? Yeah. Okay. Get one myself. Okay. s c r i b e to. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Certainly,、uh, since I've become a minister, so six years at m o、uh, seven years now. Middle <laughs> three <laughs> card. Okay. Root of wisdom. Okay. Two, three, the Okay. Land of a Okay. 
何分ぐらいかかったですか、うん、<笑>えっとねだ多分ね僕が負けそうな気がするけど No, I don't think so.、Uh, okay. So, I mean, we're just playing for fun.、So. Uh, yeah. And